Well, I'm Susan Steiner, and I'm from Hayesville, North Carolina. I teach at Murphy High School in Murphy, North Carolina. I teach high school science. I teach ninth graders and 10th graders, uh, mostly earth environmental science and a little biology. My expedition took me north of the Arctic Circle across the Brooks Range to the north slope of the Brooks Range. I went to Tulik Field Station in the summer of 2012 and I was working, um, looking at soil processes in the active layer of the soil. I had a, a great researcher. I got to meet him ahead of time. We were both new to the program and the best thing was that um, we could be working in the field and I could say, hey Mike, I'm thinking of blah, blah, blah for a lesson plan. What do you think? And we could continue our work, but then we could start that dialogue. And um, I could really bounce off lesson plan ideas with him. And he had a, um, he had a, a good teaching background and had worked with um, even middle schoolers before. One of the really fun things that I did at uh, Tulik was work with a graduate student that was doing phenology in the plots. And she marked her plants with little beads around wires and I knew immediately that my kids would love to make string little beads on wires and mark plants with them and so with her help and Mike's help my researcher we developed a phenology lesson plan and um, that fall I had the the kids out in the woods we were fortunate um, behind that school to have some some undisturbed kind of woods where they could set up plots and uh, they began taking data and um, the amazing thing was just the ownership they had of their plants as they watched them then uh, throughout the rest of that season. I'm still um, developing plans, um, integrating pr uh, really a lot of science processes um, into my classroom that I wasn't able to before because I was ex able to experience how science is done. And so um, professionally now my goal is to try and teach science as science is done. I think my students understand how science is done better. I think they're starting to realize through the science that they do um, that people don't just pick up numbers and off of a piece of paper and throw them out to the media, that there's a ton of data behind that and, it, and really quite a bit of hard, tedious work that goes into um, one little data point, actually. Polar-wise, I think they're getting it, that the polar regions are the key um, canaries in the coal mine for climate science and um, I think my students and myself really really um, understand and love to learn about the climate science during class now much more than I ever did before. Personally um, I'm a new person I have developed a voice that I knew I had somewhere in there but I think all this speaking and sharing that I've had to do I really um, come out of my shell to a certain extent, and um, I think that's a that's been a real key thing that's happened for me. And now, you know, thanks to Polar Track, this is my fourth time in Alaska in two years, and I just uh, every time I think, gosh, I I'm not sure what more I could do with this, another door opens, and so um, I I just want to add that this is just the greatest professional development that I think any teacher could go through. <laughs>